Angelus, California. She is the serpent of evil. This is Vibrance. And introducing her opponent from Houston, Texas. We are getting set for cruiserweight action here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. There you see that is what the championship is all about. As Miranda Alizé, yes, the current Hurricane Pro cruiserweight champion, the Lucha Batty, an intergender general, defending her cruiserweight championship against the Serpent of Evil, Vipress, live here on Title Match Network. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sammy Kiss. Women's wrestling action has been a cornerstone here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling, but ever since Miranda Alizé captured the Cruiserweight Championship, she's become an intergender general, defending her championship against male competitor after male competitor, and has decided to now move that championship defense into the women's division as well. The cover here, I believe this is the first all-female Cruiserweight Championship matchup here at a Hurricane Pro Wrestling. Miranda Alizé going on almost a full year as the Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. She sits as 330 days as the HPW Cruiserweight Champion. Has been a dominant force in the division since capturing that championship from Buku Dow last October. As putting on a technical display here against Vipress. Who again is no slouch. Reversing that hold, forcing Miranda to get her foot on the bottom rope to break the hold. As the two will reset in this championship matchup here in Beaumont, Texas. Live from the home of Hurricane Pro Wrestling, the Ford Park. Thank you all for joining us here live and those joining us on Title Match Network. The best professional wrestling you will find is here on Title Match Network. Nice standing switch from Miranda Alizé. Back and forth we go. And there's the head scissors from the Lucha Batty, but Viper is rolling out of it. Goes for a clothesline. Miranda catches her. Now going for Wheelbarrow. Almost for a Casadora, but again, Vipress still mating out of it. Oh, tilt a whirl into an arm drag. And Miranda takes it into the corner. Thought she was taking it easy, but there's a drop kick from the Vipress. Catching the champion off guard. Here's our first cover. Got a two count. Man, two, Viper, Viper's really caught the champion off guard with that drop kick in the corner. Miranda Alizé, one of the toughest women's competitors in professional wrestling today. She made all the way to the finals of the Ring of Honor Women's Championship Tournament recently. And has been a fighting champion here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling. And now Viper's digging her foot right into the throat Miranda in the corner. The Serpent of Evil, a Disney villain come to life, is Vipress. Again, using that flexibility and foot right into the throat in the corner again. It's been nonstop offense from Vipress since catching her in that corner. And throwing that arm into the ring. And there again, girl on the hand, the fingers of Miranda Alizé is going to make it hard for Miranda to cinch in Miranda Rice, that submission hold that she's won so many of her matchups with that she has no use of her left arm or her left hand. Smart strategy from the Vipress while scouting this champion. Here. What do you say? No. Now from our vantage point, it looks like maybe a hammer lock going into an arm bar lock with the bridge, exiting that little bit of extra momentum, that force. Leverage into the arm, and now he's another cover. Looks the far leg. Miranda Alizé able to kick out. And Viper's catching her off guard with that kick, and now throwing the champion to the outside. Stopping all the momentum that Miranda was trying to catch there, but of course, the Vipers cannot 
win that championship on the outside. She's got to get her back in the ring here. I'm not sure exactly what's happening. Someone had a championship belt on the outside there. Big chop from these two women on the outside. The referee line a lot of this go, but he's got his count going. These two women have got to get back in the ring. Headbutt from Miranda. The referee's count was up to four. Five now. I gotta say, Miranda Alizé is used to fighting from underneath. But since she's won the Cruiserweight Championship, she's been tangling with many of the male superstars here at Hurricane Pro Wrestling who typically seem to underestimate Miranda Alizé, who again is one of the fiercest competitors. But Vipress, conversely here tonight, seems to have well scouted her opponent, had a game plan and has had a strategy here. Another cover again from Vipress. Clearly focusing on the strengths and the weaknesses of Miranda Alizé, keeping her grounded. Now picking her up into a fireman carry. Oh, Miranda gets out of it into a backstabber, creates separation. And you see the anguish on the face of Vipress. But the champion, Miranda Alizé, the Lucha Batty, has taken so much of a beating so far, she cannot capitalize on it. Both women are down. Referee's count is up to seven. And both women buck up, back up to their feet. And now blow for blow, exchanging strikes in the center of the ring. And here comes that fire of superstar Miranda Alizé whipping Vipers into the corner. And now you see the expression, the attitude changed from Miranda. That focus, that tenacity, and there's a drop kick from Miranda to boot. How does Vipress like it? Double underhook to a suplex. Hooks the near leg, does the champion, and got a two count for it. Some applause from the champion, respect to the efforts of Vipers. I mean, how can you not be impressed with how Vipers has performed here tonight against a superstar of the caliber of the Lucha Bad? He's now setting her up. Oh, but Vipers catches her! Into an Alabama slam! Planting the champion, setting her up. Twisting neck breaker, and that is it, says Vipers. Are we gonna see a new champion? No, Miranda got her shoulder up at the last possible moment. Now Viper's throwing Miranda's face head first in that top turnbuckle. Now taking things up a notch in this contest, grabbing Miranda by the hair. Let's see where she's going, oh! We might never find out, Viper's falling. Stuck in the corner on that middle rope. Oh, Miranda's got her by the head. Oh, drops her with the DDT. Hangman DDT out of the corner. Miranda very smartly drags through the center of the ring away from the ropes. But again, even with both legs hooked, Viper's able to kick out. I am very impressed with the Serpent of Evil showing how much she wants to become the new Hurricane Pro Cruiserweight Champion. The Cruiserweight Championship is on the line. Viper drops down with a knee right to the side. The temple of Miranda Alizé looks like she was knocked loopy. Referee almost out of position. Cover got a two count. Miranda almost in the ropes there. Back and forth we go. Mar Viper saying this is it. Miranda going for the cutter. And she hits it! And Miranda has her set up. For the whizzing, Vipers to the center of the ring. And this time, that's it.
TitleMatchNetwork.com. said since the victory at Blood in the Sand in the four-way bout where she earned that CCW Global Fighting Championship, RJS has had successful defenses. Whoa, hang on. He's faster than I can even rattle off her accolade. She is laying it into space. Jesus. That is the classic Rebecca Scott. You know, we were talking about, you know, she came back to CCW with the new, more aggressive attitude. Obviously, it's led her to gold here tonight, but dare I say this is her biggest challenge yet. Yes, she's defended that title successfully so many times, but there's no one quite like Billy Starks, Alyssa. Yeah, Billy Starks has a lot of those intangibles. For her young age, has such a great head on her shoulder that I, RJS just tried to rip off of her shoulders. Has competed, like you said, internationally, MLW, Ring of Honor. The, the list goes on and the sky is the limit for Billy Starks, but not if Rebecca Scott has anything to say about it. I mean, she's, she's been holding on to that Global Fighting Championship since she won it, like you were alluding to earlier. She has successfully that, defended that title on numerous occasions against Nikki Duke, who we saw here earlier tonight. Of course, Sarah Leone, Gabby Ortiz, Zeta Steele, but again, no one Looking quite to retain like here. Billy Starks, but again, RJS has been on a roll since returning to CCW, so can never count out RJS either. Yeah, I mean, Scott even shared online how people have been viewing her as the quote-unquote underdog of the tournament, even though she's the only crowned champion that is part of the tournament. And I think that Fair that, point. Yeah, and that really just riled the ire of RJS, who now hooks the leg of Billy Starks, not quite. But if there's one thing about, you know, talk about the intangibles of Billy Stark, Billy Starks, it's the amount of resilience, the amount that this competitor can absorb and just keep fighting. So impressive. Again, Billy, of course, the younger of the two, but also the veteran of the two, actually. So, again, she has that experience side. Again, these two are pretty comparable sizes to each other, more on the smaller side. But, again, Rebecca Scott has so much fire within her that makes her larger than life to begin with. There is no denying that. You could even hear just from the, the brief words that we heard from RJS. Quick bypass from Billy Starks, and Starks now swoops the legs out from underneath Scott. Billy now, oh geez, laying in a shot across the chest, nearly wiping out Rebecca Scott, but she catches the leg. You know, Billy, if you couldn't tell from her gear, takes a lot of inspo from the Joshi sides of things, unloading that strong style, those hard kicks, misses it there, but gets it the second time and stuns and plants Scott to the mat. Now the cover from Billy Starks looking to become the new, but not quite enough to keep Scott down. And you can see too there, it, just moments ago, if Rebecca Scott hadn't been, you know, basking in the uh, adulation, maybe she wouldn't have caught that rebound kick from Starks. But now Starks trying to get Scott off her feet. Dumps her over the top rope. Oh! Scott swinging wildly, but now catches Billy through that middle rope. And a Billy. collision. Billy caught up there now. Yeah, Billy in a prone position on the apron, a dangerous place to be. Again, the only way this title changes hands. Now, technically, there's a couple ways this could go down. Technically, the only way to the title would change hands would be by pinfall or submission. Which, speaking of, but but technically, Billy could win this match, say by DQ, and Rebecca would remain champion. So this could end a few different ways, actually. This is actually a very good point, but you can see 
locking in, has a, a bit more of a jujitsu influence to her style, has Rebecca Scott, and now trying to get Billy Starks to tap out here. But wisely rolling, using the momentum of their bodies and dumping them out to the floor. Giving herself some time to breathe, recollect herself, but again, you, again, Billy has to get inside before the count of 10 if she wants to advance and become the new global fighting champion. There is no doubt about that. And like we said, the stakes are higher than ever here. Not only the chance to advance in the turn. Okay. <laughs> Dishing Rebecca J. Scott into that barricade, breaking our officials count. Oh, now Billy Starks looking to go for broke here in the Battle of the Throne tournament. Diving through and wiping out RJS. With ease, might I add. RJS lifeless on the floor. Billy's got to throw her back in there. It's almost like she read your mind, Ella J. And now Billy Starks, could she be looking for that swanton? Oh, well scouted by Scott, who goes barreling into that corner. He's a Billy back elbow from Billy. Billy rolls through, now in the corner. Quick rebound shot over that top rope, using that extra spring in her steps. Dragging Scott back to her feet, drives into that knee. Back kick, swings around and catches Scott. Oh, jeez. Could it be a new CCW Global Fighting Champ? Couldn't even get the words out, Rebecca Scott. That just goes to show how much this championship means to Rebecca Scott and how much this tournament opportunity means to Rebecca Scott. You seemed, uh, you seemed a little eager there yeah. too, Rebecca, uh, too there, Alyssa. <laughs> hey, I mean, there's no discounting the reign that Rebecca J. Scott has had, but wait. No, bypassing, weaving around one another. Suplex for Billy Starks with the bridge. Oh, and Not you could see frustration. Out. The frustration is starting to mount for Billy Starks. He's going up to that top turnbuckle once more. She could... Oh, no, no, no. Rebecca Scott's going to meet her. Precarious position for both competitors here in the opening round of the Battle of the Throne tournament. No way, no way. Going up top, top. Oh, and the head scissors off the top. Are you kidding? And did you see that maniacal smile from Rebecca Scott? Don't please with herself, the DDT. And Billy Starks refusing to go all the way down. She really kept herself to the all fours base, not letting herself be pinned. Oh, hang on. But Scott. And now the hook of the leg, Rebecca J. Scott, no! Billy Starks. Young, but resilient here, and we're seeing that in play. Young and hungry, for sure. Hungry for more gold, but Ooh. eats the whole mouthful of mat for her troubles. Still, though. RJS stunned. Again, she's pretty much put her opponents away with ease in the past. Billy Stark's really testing the limits of Rebecca Scott here tonight. There is such tenacity of Billy Starks, and you gotta wonder if that's gotten even more under the skin of Rebecca J. Scott. For that, Lana, but now Billy plants herself. You can see the, the pressure, the damage that Rebecca Scott is doing in this vice like hold, but oh, hang on. Pile driver from Billy Starks. Books the leg. Not enough. But quickly, not losing focus. Billy Starks going through the playbook. Can she get the Swanton bomb if she can hit it? And she does! She does. Crawls to the cover. Billy Starks hooks the legs. No! Rebecca Scott kicking out with authority here. But again, so much damage has been done. I mean, I have seen that Swanton from Billy Starks end matches for her. I mean, this is really something where Billy has to dig deeper into the playbook. Now both competitors swinging madly at one another. Oh, geez, Rebecca Scott, though, with a bit of an advantage. Billy breaks that hold, ducks the kick. 
Oh, oh. he's no way. Taking it. Oh, wait, rolling through though. Rebecca J. Scott as Billy's. No, just as quickly shifts back. Oh my god, the champ! A huge win for Billy Starks here tonight. Your brand new CCW Global Fighting Champion. TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com
TitleMatchNetwork.com That sounded sarcastic. No, no, I'm being 100% 100% serious. And there's the bell. And we've got the Diamond Queen against everybody's favorite pageant queen here at Wicked Game. Lock up center of the ring. Oh. Evelyn Carter looking to show dominance early. You walk in, it's your debut. You got a fan favorite across for you at Amherst Blair. You definitely want to walk away with the win. So asserting your dominance early is key. We go for it again. Lock up. Oh. Amherst gets tossed again. Every time they lock up, I can't help but notice the difference in size between the two. Amherst is a, a, a slight competitor. Very talented, very proficient, very speedy, but... Not exactly what I would say a powerhouse brawler. That she is not, but I am sure that both of these women have done their homework. Oh, yeah. And they came into this well prepared. Neither of these two is going to walk in just to wing this thing. I can tell you that much. Amherst would love to pick up a win and continue her hot streak here. Show that she is, in fact, everyone's favorite pageant queen. And Evelyn Carter would love to uh, walk into the debut. Oh, stops herself there. So I was saying, wants to uh, impress in this debut, so the next time she's here, she's got something to uh, something to claim, something to defend. Oh. Amherst ready for her. Amherst with the arm drags, trying to keep Evelyn off her feet. Ducks the clothesline, Amherst off the ropes. Into a head scissors. As I said, not exactly what you would call a powerhouse, but she is proficient. Oh! But Evelyn Carter. Throwing Amaris into that middle turnbuckle. Excellent ring awareness, using that turnbuckle as a weapon. And now, taking advantage of the referee's count. Don't, don't push Isaac. That man is the premier referee in the state of Texas. Now Evelyn just trying to manhandle Amaris here. Takes her to the top turnbuckle again, just ramming her face first. Just an aggressive strategy on the part of Evelyn Carter. That's right, as you said, she's definitely the larger competitor taking advantage of that. Yeah, you can see the game plan here. You can see she's trying to overpower Amaris in whatever way she can, just brute strength. Not a bad game plan, if you ask me. Oh, running elbow in the quarter. That is right. Definitely keeping this the pace of this match a little bit slower. Slowing down Amherst a little bit. Oh. Oh. But Amherst, speedy, quick roll up. Gets a two count out of it. I always like to point out exactly how, oh, how quick Amherst is. She ran very quickly into that big boot. Now Evelyn back in control. Oh, oh, just driving her to the mat. Tossing her down by the hair. Isaac trying to uh, remind Evelyn that there are rules here. Not entirely sure Evelyn gives a shit. Oh, vicious stops to the back. I definitely don't think Evelyn cares all that much. Oh, cover. But Amber is able to kick out. Evelyn doubts Isaac's qualifications, so. Well, this is her first time here at VWR, but here at VWR, we know exactly how great a referee Isaac is. As oh, Amber is mounts a, a comeback here, throwing some hard strikes of her own. I mean, I know she's oh. a pageant queen, but uh, down in Louisiana, they do know how to fight. Evelyn with those 
elbows of her own. I did not expect a uh, a barroom brawl out of these two, but they're throw they're throwing elbows. Ooh. Just a high kick. Back elbow. Staggers Evelyn. Oh! Amherst with the clothesline. Taking Evelyn down again. Cross body from Amherst. Right into the cover, but only gets a one count. Amherst was going for something. Evelyn blocks it. Now she's got her up. Amherst able to fight out of it. Shoves Evelyn against the ropes. Ducks that clothesline. Oh, flatliner. And now, looks like Amherst is going to try to try to lock it in here. Oh. There's that submission. And look at the torque that she's putting there. Evelyn tapped. Oh. A submission victory for Amherst Blair. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Oh, oh, it's oh, oh. The following contest is a tag team match scheduled for one fall. One fall. And it is for the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championship. Yeah. Introducing first, to my right, from the weekend of your dreams, the team of Mia Fred. Alexis, a little bit of a history lesson here. Only two teams have ever held the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships. First team being the Renegade Twins, held those championships for 203 days, only to be dethroned by your current reigning and defending tag team champions in Bougie Realities, Matt Rinkowski and Rache Chanel. Both long reigns, though, in themselves. So you've got to wonder if the new team of Friday Fever Dream have what it takes to take those championships. Like we're gonna have Maddie Winkowski starting off for the champions, and of course MJ Santana starting off for the challengers. Friday Fever Dream looking to walk away with the Mission Pro Wrestling Tag Team Championships here tonight. Now, folks, if you've been following Maddie Winkowski on social media and on Mission Pro Wrestling social media, you'll have seen. A, uh, an absolute war of words has broken out between Maddie Rinkowski and Mia Friday. Accusations of Mia Friday breaking the hand of Maddie Rinkowski, and a lot of uh, a lot of aggression going to be coming out of one half of the tag team champions toward a, a certain other half of the challengers. That being Rinkowski to Friday. And we can see Maddie Rinkowski spotting that what seems to be like a brace, perhaps on her left wrist. Got to wonder if that's going to play a a part in this match. Either braced or taped up taped, either I think, way. Yeah. MJ Santana is going to be feeling all of the offense here from Maddie Rinkowski. Maddie Rinkowski and Rache Chanel, two very disrespectful competitors, yet somehow very beloved by the Mission Pro Wrestling faithful. Yeah, I'm still trying to work that one out, but I will say that while styling me, Rache Chanel, very respectful. Certainly think she's got me looking good. Was Rinkowski involved in the styling? She Rinkowski. wasn't, no. Just okay. for Shea, yeah. Okay. I respect that. MJ Santana 
Might be thinking that Rache Chanel might have taken a little bit too much time uh, styling you tonight, so to speak, and more so uh, should have been focusing on the contest at hand here. MJ Santana currently in control. Perhaps so, because even though, as I say, this is a new tag team, both these competitors are no stranger to the ring or to Mission Pro Wrestling. MJ Santana and Mia Friday, we've seen both of these women in competitions such as this before. Not tag team competition and not in each other's corner. However, Santana, currently a house of fire, feeling very good about herself right now. Rache Chanel is going to have to be doing anything, any means necessary to walk away still champion. Santana into the cover, two counts. Once again, we'd like to give a shout out to Maddie Rinkowski and Rache Chanel's sponsors. Rinkowski sponsored by Jacob Cavazos and Ray Chanel, Rache Chanel sponsored by Eric Covada. Friday and Santana, tandem tag team offense here. Up and down. Friday laying it into the chest of Rache Chanel. Lexi, what's the strategy going to be like for you if you're 17-year-old Mia Friday, fresh off of a Japanese professional wrestling excursion? I tell you, she must be on the top of the world right now, and I think that's what she's got to use. That energy, she is going to bring that. I feel she must have learned so much over there, though, so perhaps we'll see some of that in her in her in ring competition tonight. You're right about that. Potentially pulling out some new tricks of the trade here. Shea Chanel with a throat chop to Mia Friday. Can we try to chop Friday down to size? Rinkowski tagging in, the legal woman. Last time that we saw Chanel and Rinkowski, they were defending Tag Team Championship Gold in what they consider to be an unfair contest, a fatal four-way affair at MPW True Colors. We absolutely know how that ended with the men's revolution. Chanel taking Mia Friday apart, trying to dissect Mia Friday from the inside out. And look at the confidence for Chanel possesses while doing so. MJ Santana perhaps trying to come to the aid of her partner now by alerting the referee. Rinkowski cover, no. Rinkowski into the full mount positioning, unleashing the offense on Friday, and you're, you're going to continue to notice the, the frustration building for Maddie Rinkowski here. This is not at all where my, Mia Friday wants to be. Rinkowski said on social media, Friday's going to wish that she had never stepped into the ring with Rinkowski by the end of this one, looking to break the hand of Friday the same way Friday might have done to Rinkowski. Retribution, perhaps. It's definitely one way of seeing it. Rinkowski just standing onto the hand, putting all of her weight Onto that left hand of Mia Friday. Maddie Rinkowski, such an aggressive competitor, which does work in her favor. You gotta talk about the inexperience Mia Friday and MJ Santana possess as a tag team on their own as singles competitors, highly experienced in their own rights, but as a tag team, there's a certain camaraderie, a certain style that you have to adjust to and gel with. Absolutely, and you must definitely say that Bougie Reality have that. They have tagged together for so long now, almost knowing what the other is going to do. Bougie Reality have defended the MPW Tag Team Championships against a plethora of teams, whether it's the Good Sisters and Lizzie Blair and Peyton Blair, whether it's Kai Vibes and Lady Bird Monroe, or hell, even the Money Birds in Gigi Ray and Lady Bird Monroe. And not forgetting the King Bees, which I think was at the Candy Cane Street Fight match. What a match that was. Absolutely, back at MPW Silver Bells 2. Shea Chanel and Maddie Rinkowski know what it takes to walk away with championship gold, but do they know how to combat the efforts of Mia Friday and MJ Santana? This is a different tandem than we're used to seeing here in Mission Pro Wrestling. It certainly is, and despite their inexperience as a tag team, 
both young and hungry competitors, I think, with something to prove here. And, and, and I think that Rache Chanel has dug into her supposed bag of tricks. Is this, how, is this how the styling session went down with you and Rache Chanel? I mean, it was certainly less aggressive. I, I was going to say, I think she pulled out the comb, but she just pulled it through mine quite nicely, really. I, I would like to hope that it was, it was a little less aggressive yeah. than what we're seeing right now. For your sake, cover. Hold on. Just a two. This is not a position that Mia Friday wants to be in. In the center of the ring, nowhere near MJ Santana to make that tag. Here we see Maddie working on that left arm again. Targeting that left arm, doing everything in her possible nature to try and take down Mia Friday. But everybody's favorite day of the week with a cover. Hold on, it's just two. Friday flattened by Maddie Rinkowski. You're going to continue to notice this. Targeting the left arm all the way from the rotator cuff. Hold on, the cover here for Rinkowski. Not enough. All the way from the rotator cuff, all the way down to your, your, your longest finger. But that is smart tactics there by Maddie Rinkowski. That is the experience that we've come to see from Bougie Reality. Rache Chanel sliding out and sliding back in with the avalanche splash. And then referee MJ Bell trying to reaffirm he is the man wearing the stripes here tonight. But look here in the corner. Rinkowski is almost scraping her boot along the rope and along the, the hand, the wrist of Mia Friday. Friday battling out though, up and down. Yeah, Friday coming back with some fire now. Looking for that tag. Targeting that left arm once again. Rache Chanel obviously filled in on the game plan by Maddie Rinkowski. And again, this is that experienced tag team work that we come to see. And th think about the frustration Rache Chanel must feel. I mean, to, to know that the, your opponent here tonight is the one who injured your tag team partner. That is the individual that helps you make your living. Friday battling it out, battling back up to a stable position, but is it enough to create separation? Yes, it is. You can see her holding that left arm though. She's going to continue to favor that left arm throughout the rest of this contest. If there's any prediction I'm going to make tonight, that will be one. <laughs> you feel that this is the time though, that she has to get to that corner and make that tag to the fresher MJ Santana. Chanel catching herself. Could have jammed a knee there off the oh, impact. But and MJ there we Santana. go. Santana's in. Santana's in. Taking down Rankowski. Chanel gets one too. Watch out for the waist lock, German suplex. Big things coming, small packages. That includes the power of MJ Santana. Look at that. Swinging neck bringer to boot. The tag's been made via Friday. I don't think MJ Santana was expecting that. Oh. Wait a minute. Rache Chanel. Walker, what have we just seen here? We'll talk about malfunction at the junction. MJ Santana and Mia Friday, seemingly a little bit of miscommunication inside the ring. And I, I, something tells me MJ Santana just lost her cool there, Lexi. Absolutely. I was going to say, Bougie Reality picking up the win, but with assistance, intentional or not, by MJ Santana. And we can see things breaking down now between the two. This is the end of Friday Fever Dream. 
ending just before it started, apparently. A, a nightmare, not a dream. And it, wait, wait a minute, what is MJ Santana doing here? This is... This is your tag team partner! This is absolutely egregious. How is... A senseless assault from MJ Santana. And our, uh, referee MJ Bell is in there trying to check on me yeah, Friday, but this is, this is absolutely baseless, Lexi. Does this just stem from a frustration of being tagged out? Folks, as our fans give it up for Mia Friday, we head on into the most anticipated matchup of the evening. Coming up soon. TitleMatchNetwork.com. Black Widow, very young, very new into her career, but at the same time racking up accomplishments. She walks into VWR as a champion, but she's got quite the fight ahead of her with this new Claudia staring across the ring. Yes, ref doing her job, checking the competitors. Yeah, you've got to hand it to our refs. We, uh, we always we expect the best out of our officiating. And that's the first bell here at VWR. Black Widow looking to get the crowd fired up on a chilly night here in Houston, Texas. Uncharacteristically cold is it here at Houston Premier yes. Arena. And Imera not to be deterred. So showing she's got some fans out here as well. Yeah. With the cheap shot, Black Widow. Well, Black Widow is not going to waste any time. Black Widow is going to go for whatever advantage that, they, that she possibly can. And here she goes into a lockup. Ooh. Sweeps the leg, Black Widow to the canvas. Now back into a lockup, both of these women jockeying for position in the early parts of this contest. It's important to establish dominance early on. The Wolf definitely. Ooh, headlock takeover. Definitely was not expecting that. And now, and now it's just a matter of maintaining control. And there you go, a smooth transition into the head scissors. Black Widow getting to the rope, that ring awareness. Ring awareness, definitely. Young competitor, but still very, very skilled. We've got a lot of young, com we've got a lot of young athletes on this broadcast here tonight, but we also have KG veterans. Oh. Into a pinning predicament, gets a two count, does Black Widow. Back into another pin. The former Claudia Soli, definitely very well aware of what she's getting into here tonight. And that veteran presence is going to help her out against this up and coming luchadora, Black Widow. Emily, what are you noticing out of this, this new persona that we're seeing here tonight? What's, uh, what do you find so surprising about this? Um, just, she's just she's a lot more just ruthless. She's usually a lot more, a little bit more happy go lucky, so to speak. Yeah, usually Claudia comes out here. She's all business, but she's got a smile on her face. This uh, this new iteration is not exactly what I was expecting. Still the same intensity, but just but, taking uh, all of the excitement that she would generally bring with her. She comes out more dancing and everything and just straight to business yeah but i'm not entirely and i'm not entirely sure what spurred this change i don't know new year new claudia is that what we're looking at maybe maybe as she takes Good black widow line. down with a vicious clothesline and gets a two count and yeah uh Imera, formerly Claudia, she is a former PWF champion, so I don't know. Maybe she lost her title. I don't think I've seen her since then, since nope. she lost it to Rachel Rose. So well, maybe I know that's we, part of this. Well, I know we saw Imera at 
PWF not too long ago in what was the what oh. was the last ever RWR Vixens champion or Vixens division yes. match. To have her come in now, I think that what she's looking to do is to continue the legacy that she previously had in RWR. VWR, a new company, a new beginning, a new era, a new wave. And I think that Claudia wants to establish herself as the veteran presence of VWR, wants to put herself on top of this company as she whips Black Widow into the Ooh. corner and follows up with a vicious Big shoulder shoulders. tackle. As I was saying, Cla and Black Widow reverses back into that corner and follows up with a shoulder of her own. Yeah, Black Widow going toe to toe with the veteran. Uh, new name, but it doesn't erase the history. This yes. Imera in the ring there has all the experience that she. Ooh. ooh, kick to the hamstring. And that'll take you out of it. That you you take out a leg. That limits mobility, make sure that you can't. Takes a lot of power out of a lot of, a lot of things that Claudia, that Imera, excuse me, can do. Yeah, it's gonna take some getting used to. This Imera, who is, as we said, a veteran presence, has been a, has been a part of RWR in the past, wants to establish herself as a large part of VWR's roster going forward. Oh, as Black Widow slam. lands a spine buster that would make Arn Anderson proud, goes for a cover. Imera getting her shoulder up at two. You have to imagine if Black Widow might have put just a little bit more pressure on that cover, that might have been it. And now Imera has her the by the leg. Ankle. Ooh. And there you go, those vicious strikes, the vicious leg strikes. We talked about how important it is to put the power behind the legs, and Imera has Black that Widow in Black Widow trying to call for a timeout. Well... I didn't exactly write the VWR rule book, but at the same time, I, I don't know. I think I saw that in the rules, though. Yeah, but it's definitely not yeah. in the rules. There, there are no timeouts. I mean, I could call one, but I'm not going to. As. Mana has her on the, in the ropes. And she's going to use every second of the referee's count. That was that veteran presence that we talked about. Yes. Claudia knows what she's doing when she's in that ring. Shoots her off. Oh. Back body drop. Back body drop. And Black Widow is feeling it. I have hit the mat a few times at Houston Premier Arena. I know how much that hurts. Black Widow having to kick out at two. Yeah, Imera in there, pressing her advantage, going for the cover when appropriate. You really can't underestimate the veteran presence of Imera. Black Widow, an up, up and coming competitor. Very, Big very kicks young. In the corner. Black Widow reverses. Yeah, quick, quick on her feet, quick thinking is Black Widow. And now it's just a power struggle. Into the opposite corner. And a big running forearm. And a bulldog to follow it up. Impressive from Black Widow as she goes into the cover. One, two, just a two count. Black Widow cannot believe that. Well, you lay in that kind of offense and you yes. expect to get something out of it. And now you can see Black Widow can't let herself get frustrated, but you can see you're turning on the aggression. Yeah. Just what you need to do if you want to take down this Imera, this wolf among the sheep. And now both of these women just trying to gain the advantage. Ooh. Imera tossing, tossing Black her over Widow. Into that corner. Getting some distance in that ring off that throw. Off the ropes. He's got her in a waist lock. Looks like looks like she's trying to cinch that in, trying to put pressure on the diaphragm, make sure Black Widow can't breathe. If you can't breathe, you can't fight, Emily. I don't know if you're aware of that fact. You know, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. I have not wrestled, so I assume that would make it very hard to breathe. Can't breathe, can't wrestle. And it looks like that's exactly what 
Imera was hoping for. Wear her down. Now up on those ropes. I don't know Black if she's Widow on that bottom rope. Ooh. Up and over, dropping the knees and the feet right onto the face of Black Widow. And that's not just downward force of gravity. That's also, that's also the physics of using those ropes for leverage. Adds Setting to her that back impact. on that bottom rope. Hmm. No! Stomp to the stomach. No! Oh! Ooh! Baseball, Baseball slide. slide. Right down the middle. Someone's going to be feeling that in the morning. And now have her, has her. Black Widow going for the eyes. Well, whenever you've got someone like Amira who's got you in a headlock, you're going to yes. want to break that any way that you possibly can. And now Black Widow trying to put the boots to her. Ooh. Off the ropes, running kick right in that corner. Might have dislocated Amira's jaw. Into the cover. One, two. That rope break? Yeah, it looks like. That veteran ring awareness of Imera. Yeah, you got to hand it to the official for noticing that. And now Black Widow just can't let herself get distracted, can't let herself get upset, lose focus. Because as we said, Imera, a very cagey veteran, somebody who knows exactly yes. what it is that they're doing in that ring. It looks like Black Widow is doing just that, going up to the top rope. Yeah, you've got to go high risk, high reward in some instances. Not quick enough though, Imera off that middle rope. Looks like she could be going for a superplex of some kind. Oh! High impact off that middle rope, rolls through right into a cover. Into One, cover. two. Barely a kick out. I am impressed that Black Widow was able to get a shoulder up. And it looks like Imera might Mera, be a oh. little bit more a little frustrated, to be honest. Going to the outside. Well, that didn't take long. First, first contest trading of the night, blows. and they're already trading blows on the outside. I told you, whenever we, uh, whenever we booked this thing, this was going to be a hard-hitting contest. Both of these women love to, love to lay in those shots. They love to work stiff. Yes. And we're seeing a little bit of that right now as they work the outside, dangerously close to the crowd here at Houston Premier Arena. Imera grabbing the hair, trying to keep control. These two women just laying in stiff shots on the outside. This suddenly became a very real fight. Oh. I believe our referee has gotten to 10. Oh, and the referee has called for the bell. We've got a double count out. These, these women are unable to separate themselves. This match has been ruled a draw as both competitors did not get back to the ring by the referee's count of 10. And they are still going at it. The referee needs to do something to break up these two women. Yes, we may, we may, she may need some help out here yeah, trying we, to break this up. Yeah, we might need more officials. Um, I don't know how many of them I have on payroll, but it may not be enough. Maybe, maybe even the locker room, maybe. Oh, looks. It looks like the referee has gained some semblance of control. We've just had to do, create some separation. That's the best we can hope for. And neither, I don't believe that either of the women are happy with how this contest turned out, Emily. I, no. I think that they want, both of them would have liked to have walked out of this thing the winner, but. Of course, that's, both of them were, but are both very fired up competitors, both very fight, fighting very hard for the. You have to for position. You have to wonder this Emira, this new this new persona, this new attitude that we're seeing from the former Claudia Soli. Maybe her attitude, maybe her emotions just got the better of her tonight.
as the combined weight of Chusco right now. Tags in 
Vicky Steamboat there. You know, not for nothing, Willow has gotten herself in tremendous shape. She looks amazing, but she always looked amazing. I mean, she's all right. Um, I mean, all right. You know, even you can't lie about that. As Gino partakes of one of our fantastic sponsored mixed alcoholic beverages, we got to talk about how close Willow came to winning the tag titles with a substitute teammate in Gia Scott. You gotta figure now that she's got her standard tag team partner, they have a real shot at becoming champions. What do you oh, oh, wait a oh, minute. Oh. oh, you gotta watch that knee. Oh, yeah, fuck the knee. He watch the lion. Brooke, Brooke Valentine seems to have tweaked her knee. She's down. She is down. Referee Stephen Demang going to check on her right now. Somebody better go get Gia Scott. Checking things out right now. And, and all the competitors giving the proper due respect. Brooke Valentine does not, she looks in pain. Willow Nightingale coming to check on her partner right now. And the main event doing the respectable thing, letting the partners check on each other. And Rep Domingue calling for the bell. Referee Stephen Domingue calling for the match. Brooke Valentine is hurt. Willow Nightingale really checking on her team, and now here comes the main event. Stephen Domingue has stopped the fight. Therefore, your winners and still Battle Club Pro Tag Team Champions, Boise and Shane Lyon, the winner of Midas Black, the main event. Main event not worried about their titles right now. Right you are. And the, and the, res, the respect right now is being shown by main event. Hopefully. Uh, Valentine is escorted out. TitleMatchNetwork.com And that makes the, the anticipation for that match even more great. I'm not here for a little storm. Ah. <laughs> a little cloudy. Hi. Don't be a hater. <laughs> I think there might be uh, some animosity between the two. Oh, yeah. I do believe. <laughs> you think it's either like any relation oh, yeah. to the hurricane? You, know, you got J.C. Storm, the hurricane. I don't know. Or maybe James. Right? James Storm, yeah. 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 Might be, yeah. i definitely say James. i say James Storm, yeah. Maybe Tim Storm. Nice. Crowd into it. Here at the AML Training Center in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. We thank AML Wrestling. One, two, three, four. <laughs> got no win to break. A lot of people always try to wait to that four. I mean, they would say, oh, I got to the five. But you don't want to have a chance if you get disqualified. Could you imagine they just disqualified her and that was it? Yep, that was it. That was the whole match. Nice collar and elbow tie up right there. So I, I was talking with both women earlier and they were both anticipating this match live because like I said, they've, they've always crossed paths, but they've never like ever crossed paths in the ring. So this is a special Oh, oh a huge moment of JC Storm. Oh. Oh, there's a storm of brewing. She snatched her up right there and tossed it. Like old mother. Like, you know, used her momentum against her a little bit. Later. Made her look silly. You think you're so big? Oh, see, that's what happens when you make somebody look silly. They try to steal on you, so you got to steal on them back. I'm from New York. I'm from Jersey. So we have a little oh. battle. Oh, we got that battle of the river right now. So. Here's the thing I was told earlier is like a lot of people have always thought that Vanny is from New York, but she's actually from New Jersey. Ah. She represents New Jersey, but Jason Storm is actually from New York. So, you know. Oh, little, uh, little nice. tri-state uh, battle nice. right here. Nice little ankle pick right there from JC Storm. Oh, Ooh, hey, the Ducky go for a schoolboy one. Oh, oh. just uh, that close. JC Storm is almost able to pick up the victory over Vanity. And she let her know that to her face. How does that feel? That's disrespectful. That's Wait, Vanny says she's pulling the hair. You know what? Come on. I don't want to say that. Come on, man. We don't talk about it. 
Nope. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's definitely some animosity between the two of them. And I like that. that. That makes for a good bitter Chase rival. is trying to show a little sportsmanship. You know, they're both blazing their own trail, trail their own areas, and now they're like, hey, what's up? Let's do the work right now. How disrespectful was that, though? She kind of slapped her with her foot. Exactly. Oh! Ooh, right in the oof. That's, that was for your disrespect. Beautiful hey. springing arm drag right there. Oh, both of these women. Tracy Storm bringing the storm. Big avalanche hits the ropes. Oh. Big time spear. Oh, that was like lightning in a bottle right there. Oh. You got to think, had she covered her a little quicker, she might have, you know, maybe got a three. Uh, maybe. And see, Bandy on the okay. outside now because she, she wasn't expecting that. Bandy's hurt. Yep. Her pride is hurting right now. That's what she's mad about the most. She thought she was going to have an easy night tonight, but JC Storm turned that around. Andy, ah, very smart. She baited her in, but oh, she pays for it. She's still able to block it. Oh, right in the bread basket. Oh, and a nice forearm to the back and the base of the spine. Ah, humble her, she says. And that's the worst thing you can get after you getting that big forearm to the back of your shoulder blades. Now being locked in this camel clutch. Oh my God. Man, on the outside, too, definitely makes it harder to get up and get back in the ring to beat a 10 count. And it also makes it hard for your upper back when you have to kick out. So it's actually a little bit of um, smart momentum from Vanity. Yeah, baited her in. She liked that worked out for her in the end. Tell everybody to shut up. She's, Tell talking about. She's getting too cocky about it. Allowing her time to recover a little bit. Like you said earlier, sitting on her, pulling her legs back, stacking her. Cover now, a body on body pin. I got my eye on you too. Well, I'm beating her down. Well, I bet that referee likes that. I'm joking. Yeah. Yeah. Nice Ooh. snap suplex right there by Van. Really late in there. Once again, working that upper back. Now, do you think should she have gone for a cover right there? I think now she's in control. Really, she's thinking, I hey, think. I'm going to administer some more punishment. Ooh. Ooh, second one. And those hurt. Those don't feel good. And see, it does, it's still smaller on her behalf because of the fact that she keeps on laying those snap two plexes in. It doesn't give her time to recover to be able to kick out. But again, you got to shoot half for covers. You can't allow her to gain her time like this. And now she's fighting back. Nope. Oh, beautiful right there. Cover her two. Oh. Into a blue thunderbomb variation. I thought that was it. Yeah, she countered out of the suplex and wrapped her up in that blue thunder. Man, that was an it's like, like a green thunder bomb. You know, she's wearing green. Nice. And once again, Vanity smart. Yes. Working that upper back of JC Storm. She's got her locked in. It's essentially a, a version of a seated abdominal right there. Oh, uh, JC Storm fighting back. Trying to use all her momentum. Oh, big forearm. Russell Bay feeling it. She's hurting. Oh, Ooh, huge uppercut. Hits her off for another one. Oh, hit the buckle, then got hit. Like a double whammy right there. JC Storm, she's building the storm. Ooh, roll through. It. With a big strike. Mm. Laying those big forearms into vanity. Series of strikes. She's Send off. Oh, she held on. Counter. Tilt a whirl. Oh, oh, nice. She's Huge. building up the storm. Man, this has been a fun back and forth matchup right here. Uh oh. Record. Oh, God, her planner. That could be it. Here we go. Cover Is one. That it? one two. two. Oh, man. Two and a half. You can and see. hear the disbelief from the fans. She would have had it had she been able to like actually pin down the shoulders, not just trying to use your upper body and just hooking that leg. Oh! Oh, oh she might have caught her head on the right. post. <laughs> That's just insult to injury right there. She just she could have split her head open. And I'm proud of you for actually saying that. I, yeah. <laughs> I kept. Hey, I'm doing good. Uh oh. <laughs> 
She said what? She said cookie cutter? Uh-uh. Oh. Cookie cutter. Like, is she going for like... Oh, oh. Go, okay. I, uh -oh. That ain't a cookie cutter. Uh -oh. Cookie, cookie, cookie. No. Ugh, what kind of cookies are you on? <laughs> Chocolate chip don't make you do that to people. Mm. That's we fight, man. Yeah, get that chair out of there. Oh, mm, can't use the chair. Oh! oh! Very smart on, ba on Vanity's part. Cover one, two, three. Oh! Oh, you hate to see it like in like that. Exactly. Titlematchnetwork.com. Titlematchnetwork.com. Thank you, Yatsu. Much like all divas is icon. From now on, little Miss Problematic will be known as simply Jordy. Both Nikki Duke and Jordy Lee have fans in yeah. attendance. As you can tell, the crowd split 50-50. I'm gonna call this one right down the middle. I'm I sure you will. How, you wanna marry one of them? Uh, yeah, and you have the shirt of the other. Right. The bell started to ring this match between I, these two, again, evenly matched yes, athletes. Yes, yes, I am, I am infinitely impressed by the progress that Jordy Lee has made in her one year at Battle Club Pro. Coincidentally enough, Nikki Duke, as I was speaking to her earlier today, said this is her first year yeah, it's as two, a professional yeah, two novices as well. Here. So you have two very young, talented athletes going at it for the very first time. When you run this match back a year or two from now, yeah, what kind of story exactly. will it tell? Exactly, exactly. Right, we'll these two on NXT in a year or two from now. They, maybe. See, this might be Oh, whoa, oh, oh, wow, right to a pin. And Mr. Black always a counter two behind. Charlie has to <laughs> step it up he if he's going to keep up with these two athletes. Right. Can we get a GoFundMe to replace his hip or something? Yeah, I think so. Jeez. Now, you want to talk about Nikki being her first year. Oh, gosh. This girl is from Roseland, New Jersey. She is no stranger to fights. Nikki Duke. Another lock. Oh, my God. This, that lockup. That lockup. It's nice a side shotgun headlock every Nikki. single time. Big oh. forearm to stomach. Oh, she's Reverse got the headlock. Her own side headlock. Yeah. Jordy learning under yourself. Steve Pena, Masha Slamovich, Jorge Santi. Oh, oh what's this? Board. Oh, oh, look at this! Where Where beautiful! Go? Come get on, Natalie! You must get that account! Wow, barely got Nikki Duke. I told her that move. Very well done by Jordy. Nikki Duke taking a little off her game there, Gino. I it mean, looks like she didn't expect that. Nikki's fine. She's, she'll be okay. Sounds like you're saying she can. She I'm can. saying she, she can, can wrestle, wrestle. okay? I, I, I assume that's what they meant. They're not dumb Waist enough. lock. Yeah, I'll go over there and cut them uh, myself. Right into the sleeper. Now, Jordy's been using the sleeper now very more often to kind of bring and stabilize her opponents and bring them down. You see, uh, but Nikki has that Big backflip into gravity. the back elbow from Nikki Duke. Nikki's legs are powerful, so she just backed Jordy right up into that corner. Nikki Duke with the handspring close, the back uh, elbow. Look, Jordy going right back to that choke. Nikki Duke breaking right off of it, showcasing. Knee yeah. to the stomach, right? It's, t it's tit for tat here, Gino. She it seems like they're that. going back and forth between these two athletes. Swinging oh, neck breaker. Wow. Jordy Lee. Oh. Jordy says she's got a lot to prove that it's not just pretty privilege, Where's that okay? she is earning it. Uh, uh, looks like Jordy is in control right now. Slap her. Uh. Oh, oh, big forearm. From Nikki, big oh, four right back from Jordy. Go. These two girls are not playing. Big four back you're, from Nikki. You're looking at the future of Battle Club Pro, these oh, Battle Club Chuck. icons. Nick, as I've seen that. I, I, I usually get Nikki bad, and that's the face that I get. Oh, look it up. Big oh. shot from Nikki. Oh, look. But hold on, the pretty little problem. Oh. They're going back and They're forth. They're definitely going back and forth. They could go all night with What's this. What's happen here? Hooking. It. Oh, suplex. beautiful suplex. Oh, she didn't go over. for a cover. Goes right to a front chance tree, it looks like. Now working back. I like the strategy. Take the Jordy being away aggressive. Nikki. What's this? Oh, look at this. Look at this submission. She oh, is that it? Does she, does she give? Nick, Nikki's working her way, working that core strength yeah. that she has. Back to the ropes. That's impressive, guys. Wow. Up, oh, rope break. Yarley has to cut that off right there. 
Mr. Black now doing the right thing, cutting that, that submission off. I'm surprised he finally earned some rules. I think Jordy stay needs to get her, back yeah. on her. She has to stay on her. Oh, she misses. This is a drop kick. Nikki now getting the fans in Brooklyn yeah. right behind her. Big clothesline, clothesline from Nikki Duke. Bunch of unloyal scum. Another clothesline dragging her down. Yes. Dragging her down. Very Forcing well done by through. Nikki Duke. Swinging and miss Roll. Jordy. Jordy swinging Oh, look at this. Hat scissors. From, you see, I have to tell you, Nikki Duke's very impressive tonight. Unbelievably athletic, unbelievably, af unbelievably agile. Why do you sound surprised? Nikki Duke is one of the top athletes, not only in the North. Oh, she's looking for that bulldog. Country. Oh, it's there by Jordy into the corner. Oh, oh to the spinning back, back the fist. Head. Oh, she missed the big, big cross body. That's where the, um, what do you, when you're not a veteran. That's veteran instinct. <laughs> Nikki Duke. Oh, clothesline. Handspring clothesline. Whoa. Kick out. Handspring cowboy clothesline. She dedicates that to John Wayne. You got to watch out. This is a signature move for Nikki Duke. Wait, she's she's going to looking for that moonsault. Going for that moonsault. She's going for the moonsault. It could be over. Well, Jordy, Jordy scouted it. She's up. Oh. Ooh, you heard that. What is this? Her. What is this? Look at Jordy. Rockbacker! Unbelievable! Get oh, look at the out! Gets her to the, the sleeper! Will she tap? Nikki, don't tap! Take that bell! Here's your winner by submission, Jordy! Jordy Lee victorious tonight at WCW3! TitleMatchNetwork.com TitleMatchNetwork.com Mr. Gunny, oh! Oh, 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 oh. Sheila's going for the plums once again. You know, with great Frank Sinatra once said from the Tree of Life, I'll have a plum. <laughs> Pinfall. Only two. We got Wastelock by Holliday. And oh! Oh, scouted by Gotti, oh. thankfully. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be completely and totally honest. I, I, as much as I'm pro uh, Holliday in this match, I, I, I think it's very ill advised if. Uh, if, if Holiday is, is making such a blatant go. Oh, oh, shot. Face first, Gotti sends Holiday. Mahi Straw Cradle. Two. Roll up on Holiday. Oh, and just slaps the Donfather right across the face. Not, uh, not, not pleasant for the Donfather. Not pleasant. Oh. Double legs. Oh, my goodness. And. This is, see, this, this is where being a sportsman and being a gentleman get in the way. Oh, cool. Oh. Very close. Very close. Uh, and oh! Oh, big X-plex there by the Donfather. Well, now the question becomes, uh, it, it did having uh, the, uh, oh! Holiday rushes in, but sidestep oh, no, by, no, oh! No, 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 And look at this, oh! Jeez! Beautiful high angle DDT. Lateral press. No, she, she's biting oh. him. I mean, it could be a lateral press. Yeah, but with her teeth. Yes. It's still lateral, and it is a press. Fair point. Would you rather it be a Greco-Roman nose bite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Holiday now putting the boots to Mr. Blow Your Back Out. It could be a... a oh, come on. What? Nastico choking Lou Gotti in the corner. I couldn't see. There's this fellow with a Jordan jersey in front of me. Weren't you looking at the monitor? Oh, is that what that is? Oh. Holiday now. Oh, oh my goodness. Just, and 
Reminds me of my dear friend, the Vicious Vintner. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Holiday in control. Oh. oh, very nice ankle pick by the Dawnfather. As Holiday. Yeah, and both of these athletes very accomplished. Uh, they have been around the ring for a minute. Ooh. Holiday then returns a favor. Oh, God. Down on that knee. Oh, and now just. It looked like she was trying to bite the the knee, the the leg of White Wait, Roddy. If if she bites him and breaks the skin, does that turn him into into a into a holodead? Yes, I, I believe so. Huh. Oh no! Oh! Oh! And Gotti once again, one step ahead. He knew. Oh! Beautiful triangle choke, almost a gogo plata there by Gotti. All right. Holiday successfully makes it to the ropes. Oh my goodness! Oh, ho, ho. That lariat just blows right through. Mr. Blow your back out. <laughs> this Holiday so physically imposing, just scary strong. She's been all over the country. Wrestled everywhere and, you know, in some, some places outside of, uh, you know, the realms of reality. Yeah, and Earth. That, it, yes. Oh, oh, oh God. no! Second hardest part of the ring. And the deadliest thighs in the game. Uh, they did not make contact. <laughs> oh, reversal by Holiday. Oh, oh, face first. Oh, oh, oh. Lou Gotti, probably going to need a little bit of dental work after this. Forearm clubbing blows to the chest and throat area. Oh, oh. second time's a charm. Oh, oh. oh. Dead rolls into the ring and very interestingly nonchalant pin. <laughs> Absolutely. Very interesting nonchalant. Well done. Only two, but oh, good. Series of forearm clubs. And then look at this. Almost a uh, camel clutch rear naked choke yeah, variant. Yeah. Oh, God. And just when Lou thought he was going to get up, <laughs> just popped right across the face. <laughs> oh, God. Jeez. Right hand, right in the midsection. Big back elbow. And oh, God, that overhead chop. That one may have just woken up, Mr. Blow Your Back Out. Oh, and another, and another, and Lou oh. Gotti. Oh my goodness! Right finally in, succumbed. Right in the eyes. I mean, she poked him right in the eyes, Nigel. I mean, I mean, if they're if they're right there, what do you expect? I mean, you're part of the Nintendo generations. Now, when, when the bad guy's got the little flashing thing, that's what you hit. What game is that? Uh, every one of them from the 80s. I mostly think of Zelda. Gotti anchoring oh. himself on that top rope. Well, the, the, the seeming to anger Holiday. Oh, reversal by Gotti, but Holiday holds on and oh, oh low, low bridge. bridge. Jinx. I already got you, cut. Yes, you did. And look at this. Oh, oh, oh! And now a, the a self, double axe handle ends. The self-proclaimed best manager. And was 
Oh, oh, oh. God, he able to get out of the way and Holla dead. Let's hope he makes an excellent crash pad. That's one of the reasons why I try not to say soft in the middle. That way nobody wants to land on me. <laughs> and oh. Yeah, spine on the pine right there, Gotti. Oh. He's Hope got that this isn't a herald of things to come. <laughs> do you think, do you think, do you think Lou wore those blue trunks for the same reason that Deadpool wears a red costume? Oh, absolutely. That way no one can tell when it happens. Yes. Beautiful series of arm drags. And look at this, caught. Oh, oh you're a Nagi backbreaker. Hooks the leg, but Nastico on the apron. I did. And trying to get in the ring. You know what? I'm, I'm really, I'm really very, very surprised. I mean, Lou Gotti has, has utilized the skills mm -hmm. of Nastico for years. Yes. So, so why would this be something that, uh, e even if it is a surprise, why would it be something that Lou would, would be surprised uh, about in this context? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, right in the yam bag. Oh, oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clemens. Oh. Wait, 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 Gotti. Pull it. Wait. Oh, he had the cup oh. on. He had the plum protector on. Holiday thinks she's won. This isn't going to be pleasant. Oh, oh, big right hand. Oh, God. Big Saido suplex. Gotti signaling for the end. Look, oh, my goodness. Oh, Tombstone my. right in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. That's it. Oh, ho. Lou Gotti picks up the victory. He picks up that victory even though the deck was stacked against him. TitleMatchNetwork.com in the women's division. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is for the SWE Women's Championship. Your official SWE senior official, Mr. James Beard. You know something, Bob Jazz? My record speaks for itself. This lady's been everywhere, held titles everywhere. Get some unbelievable experience. And the other girl as well. I mean, these, these two are champions everywhere they go so this is one heck of a match you know um the other girl not not um um the met girl from uh, tijuana mexico yeah said? thunder rosa very excited about her chance to compete for this title and again folks when we finish up here tonight someone one of these two ladies walking out of the ring with the new women's championship and will be the women's champion for southwest wrestling entertainment yes this is unparalleled excitement for the city of Canton. It's unbelievable. Here's the thing. Believe me, that's right in the back of their minds, totally. The whole match they're having here, everything they do, they're thinking, working toward getting that title. Because if they got that title, they got respect from everybody. That's exactly right. And not that these ladies are short on respect, not only from the fans, but from all the wrestlers in the back, men and women alike. These are two of the best, and you're seeing them in action right here on SWE. You know, it's just like I said before, you know, I held many titles, but you win them and you lose them. There's one, there's one thing of winning one that holds on to it. As you see, they don't have a belt now, and they want one. They're hungry. Tonight, you're going to see a good battle. That's exactly right. Jazz, of course, ran the independent circuit before being picked up and going, uh, as they say, to New York, and then... Uh, <laughs> 
longest reigning NWA women's champion of all time. Now that that is a level of toughness and a level of, of fight that you just don't see these days. I mean, we're, we're all familiar with the title reign of, of the greats like Ric Flair, but I mean, you cannot, this is a, a women's champion that is the longest reigning women's champion in the NWA. Yeah, I'm telling you, you got to give her credit because when you say an NWA, you're talking about a lot of talent and a lot of tough people come along the way. And she has took them all on and stood victorious over everybody. And that's why she's here tonight after the SWE title. <laughs> that is exactly right. Thunder Rosa doing a little dancing and oh, it gets a little uh, knee to the gut for her effort. What well, am you I know, saying? You know, I've got a gut. Well, she had know, to have a gut. What am I saying? You know, the thing is, Bob, uh, they start like a, trying to what? play to the crowd sometimes, yep. and it cost them. Yep, that's what happened there. Ducks a clothesline. She goes, rolls her up again. Nope, just throws her down. Doesn't follow up with that. And uh, she's getting the crowd behind her now is Thunder Rosa. Jazz not happy at all about being shown up in the ring. Thunder Rosa, three-point stance, headed to the corner. Close line across that top turnbuckle there. You know, we've talked a lot about Jazz, but you know, this girl here, Thunder Rosa, don't sell her short. I can tell just by looking at her. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of her, but, I, but just looking at her right now, I can tell she's an athlete and she's got what it takes. Absolutely athletic move there. However, no one was home. And as Jazz continues to dominate, we'll take a quick time. I'll be right back with more women's title action. We're back here on SWE. Women's Championship match continues now. You know, these women, they go through like, the people always get behind all the guys in pro wrestling. They talk about all the devastating stuff they do. But I'll tell you, if you watch some of these women matches close, it's just as strong and just as hard. They go, they go through some punishment, believe me. That is exactly right. And a lot of respect uh, for the women's division, especially over the last few years, as competitors, especially uh, on this level, come out and, and come out fighting and bring it. This is not... This is not a parade of pretty faces that you see in the ring. Even though they are pretty faces, that's not what's on parade here. What you're seeing is athletic ability. You're seeing punches, you're seeing kicks, you're seeing wrestling holds and wrestling moves. And you're seeing one right now. See, you watch right now the way she is, okay? Jazz is like, there she goes, zeroing in on the body part. Right. Okay, then she gets a hold and tries to continue to wear it down. So she gets her weak enough to pin her. That's what it's about. Some of these guys, like you say, come out and fly and jump and over the top, through the ropes. But you know what? She's got what it takes to be a winner. Thunder Rosa saying no. She's got a little bit of fight left in her, but Jazz squeezes a little bit harder. Just a big bear hug around the midsection now as a squeeze. And what happens there, and correct me if I'm wrong here. You're Ladies and gentlemen, done. five minutes have gone by in this match. Five minutes have gone by in this match. What is happening here, she's, she's squeezing. Thunder Rosa exhales, she squeezes more, more and more breath gets taken away, but Thunder Rosa rolls her up and now has turned it into a Oh, that's baseball. awesome, that's awesome right there. And that's a, that's a hole she, she'll probably tap on. She's got her going, but it'll be lucky if she don't tap on this, because you can't take much of that, believe me. I've been there before. Completely cuts off the circulation to your head. That's Ooh. enough to make your eyeballs red right there. Well, for her to counter that, that was unbelievable. But you're right about the bear hug she had. Yeah. You know, she keeps cutting the wind off and she's tired already. Before you know it, all the sap's out of you. And you <laughs> get exactly pinned. Right. Yeah, it looks like right. that, uh, that, that post outside is going to become a weapon now. No, uh -oh. this is unbelievable. Oh, man. How can she handle that? The girl's tough. I'm telling you, they're tougher than you think. I know. Unbelievable. She just bent her backwards over that corner post. You hear me screaming from here to no telling where. <laughs> <laughs> Working the back is Jazz. Thunder Rosa. She's hanging in there. Thunder Fired up in a headbutt. I was that. wondering when that was coming. I could just tell that she had a headbutt. <laughs> Jazz very proud of that headbutt too as it uh, turns things back in her favor there. Thunder Rosa trying to 
fire up on Jazz. Irish whip into the corner. Thunder Rosa hits hard. Yes, she does. Yes, she does, and that's why she earned all those belts, and that's why she may have one here tonight. I know one thing. They're both digging. You know they're champions by the way they go. You know, <laughs> even if she wins it, the girl's going to come up, whoever loses, and say, I want to return. That's the way they are, but she'll have to climb her way back up. Right. So when you, when you have a chance, you fight for a title, you don't win it, and you have to start back up. What do you think going into that second attempt to get there? Okay, well, first, of course, she will watch many, many videos of this match and where she's seen where she made her mistake. Right. Okay? And she'll look at, and she'll also study to try to find um, the other girl's weaknesses and try to capitalize on them. And, and, you know, it depends on how the match turns out in the end. If, if it's some kind of fluke thing, she may come back with the same strategy. But if it's something that she just went out and pinned her, she's got to learn how to counter it, and that's what she'll be studying. And she'll stay in the gym hard until she gets there. Jazz mocking a little while there, Thunder Rosa, as she did the little dance. Thunder Rosa comes back with a chop as she's back to her feet. Those chops staggering Jazz, but she pays her back with a big Two. forearm. Telling you. Jazz by far one of the more muscular women. She misses that though. Thunder Rosa out of the way into the other corner now. What's she gonna do? Big flying clothesline. She's outside. She's going up now. What is this? Wow. Yeah, you know, you're right. Jazz looks like a fireball. She's like ready to go. And she looks like she could hurt you with a punch. And that is a woman right there who trains, works hard in the gym. And is out of the way. Nobody home for Thunder Rosa. Yep. There she goes. See, there you go. Another one telegraphing what she's going to do. Those big forearms. Irish whip reversed. Back elbow Whoop. to the midsection. Look at that. Some modified abdominal stretch there, but Jazz reverses it, pulls around, rolls her up. One, two, and th three, but the I mean, foot was Yeah, up. that looked like a, hey, that looked like a yeah, leg and foot across the ropes here. The, the foot was over the rope. There was a count of three. Well, you see, but, Thunder Rosa collapsed because she had been working her back. She fell, but just right, she got her foot on the ropes. Jazz took advantage of that failed attempt at the abdominal stretch that may have hurt Thunder Rosa and rolled her up with what looked like a little help from the bottom rope out of sight of the referee, and we have a new SWE Women's Champion. Bring a pill. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. You're hyped. I mean, Joey Sinceri uh, looking to make an impact here and, and issued that open challenge. Was that a pun, sir, against Impact Wrestling's newest star, Lady Frost? A, a star that became in, like inches away from becoming the Knockouts champion. That is true. See, see how I segued that there? See? And listen to this crowd. Now, Certainly respectful and loving of Lady Frost. They're pronouncing Joey Sincerian because they're not at all. Oh. This very beautiful leapfrog, though. Rolls through to Lady Frost. Lady Frost comes charging in, comes off the ropes, ducks under a close line attempt from Sinceri. Connects. 
Sending Sinceri over to the corner now. Lady Frost comes charging in. Swift kick, like smoother like ice. Well, now, now that just hit the pretty face of Joey Sinceri. And that just hit the, the pretty, pretty body of Joey Sinceri? Oh, yeah. And again, I mean, Joey Sinceri is the superior athlete, the superior man. He's got a superior bank account. He's got a superior friend out here. And how much did he pay you again? See, I don't pay. The only things I pay for, you know what, never mind. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Can, can we get the doctor? Oh, oh. Sinceri went outside. Looks like he might have torqued his knee. Well, certainly not a. Uh... All right. Refs in checking on Sinceri, making sure he's okay. Yeah, we do have a, a a bit of a hush. We do have a doctor here on site. If we need to get Sinceri checked out here. Oh, wait a minute, no, what? it's a miracle! He's healed, he's healed! Uh, are Joey you me? Praise Jeebus! A, a superior man does this? A superior recovery? It is a miracle. A miracle? A miracle! I thought I was the southerner. That just proves it's a superior athlete. Oh. What an amazing recovery time. More like a louse. A lousy snake in the grass. Other language I probably shouldn't say on fight or title match network. I mean, if one of us is gonna get canceled, I figured it would have been me. Sinceri, whipping off Lady Frost, connects with that drop kick. That drop kick on the knee he just allegedly torqued on the outside until he sucker punched Lady Frost. Well, look, let's say hypothetically. Hypothetically what? I'm, I'm, okay, tell me. Hypothetically, tell me. maybe he didn't hurt his knee and it was acting. That should have gotten an Oscar. And it was music to my ears. It should have gotten a Grammy as well. The, the sound of their shots from Lady Frost is music to my ears. Now Lady Frost coming off the ropes. Charger full out of steam. And now using the ropes and pulling them apart. But Lady Frost able to land on her feet. Off the ropes comes Joey Sinceri. Tries to drive through. Oh, and Lady Frost freezes him in his tracks. Oh, no, no. His hurt, his injured knee, his patella meniscus tendon ACL thing. I have some of those parts left. Some of them are other people's. I mean. Lady Frost now taking care of Joey Sincera on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. This is true no, wait a fan interaction. Now that, that kid is disqualified. Ring the bell. Where's the bell guy? He's, he's, uh, he's under the age of 18. It's a legal op object. That's how that works? That kid is, is somebody call the commission. Well, they're not in the ring, so it's not a violation of commission rules. And Sinceri eating that poster face first. Now being set back in the ring by Lady Frost. Lady Frost covers the delay. One, two, only got a two count, though. That small child should be ashamed of himself. I don't know what you're talking about. I thought a win was a win. Coming off the rope with Lady Frost, big breaker. Swift like the wind, like the north wind. Thought you were gonna break into She's Like the Wind by uh, Patrick Swayze. I was trying to go Frozen, I think, somewhere, and I just lost it. Well then, in that case, you need to let it go. Oh, but Sinceri now has Lady Frost driving her down. Cover one, two, and new. Breathe. Air, there was air in my lungs, only a two. Now, now Joey Sinceri was not prepared for this matchup, so let's talk about the bravery to take on a competitor like Lady Frost. He's the one that said, I have an open challenge. But now yeah. Sinceri in that buckle face first. Lady Frost, full head of steam, all the way across the ring. Cartwheels through. Cannonball straight to the face. Joey Sinceri. Cover, one, two, only got a two count.
Uh-oh. Lady Frost. I think there are storm clouds approaching somewhere high up above. And then yeah, well, there you know what? Maybe you check your Doppler radar a little bit closer next time. Um, that's what happened. That's the difference between like a weatherman and a meteorologist. Well, you know what? Joey Sinceri is the warm front that's uh, going to uh, push the winter out of the way. Uh oh, Lady Frost is caught. Samoan drop. Uh oh, Sinceri. Come off the ropes and misses. Lady Frost saw him coming, able to maneuver herself out of the way. In comes beautiful spin kick. I think Joey's out. That was a beautiful kick to the side of the head. Now Lady Frost. Beautiful moonsault connects cover. Got a three. TitleMatchNetwork.com Up. And now it's a rooster oh. with Bentley versus Sammy Chaos. That's kind of smart. I'd get Sammy Chaos in there because exactly, she is. Bentley's not wasting any time. She can stand her ground. For another shoulder tackle. Oh. 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 It didn't even, it didn't even really flinch at Sammy Chaos. Like, uh -oh. That right there. Oh. Well, like she went to go set her up for something. Vandy said, nah, girl, not today. Speaking of, <laughs> not today. Little love my high stroke cradle right there. Sacked her, almost had her. Again, uh, like you said earlier, Vandy's more than a pretty face. She can wrestle. She's been in the game for years. Right? Oh, oh big kick, kick Olivia. from Olivia Devine. Yes, sir. Oh, a low lariat. She's got a lot of confidence right now, and she's really putting it together. You can coming, see it. And she's coming off a fresh win from our second show of over Jazz and How. Like I said, that's the thing with Olivia Bryant. She's going to do a lot of those confidence in the ring. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Two swarms in the corner to Benny to keep him free. And then strike her. Oh, oh man, just used all that to her advantage. I I feel good tonight. Yeah. Nice oh. cross body. Here we go for the bed. One, two. Oh, oh. Kick at one. one. I can't believe that. She said, nah. Uh-uh. Yeah. 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 gets up. Vanity, she got up, kind of went to the wrong corner, man. She kind of discombobulated there. Get her out of the corner, really. Get it, bag it up. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I have flashbacks. Just had some flashbacks. So. I hated it, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I'm joking. She got whacked. That's my, that's my two. <laughs> A little extra credit right there from Caitlin Marie. Here comes Sammy with some oh. chaos. How about the cohesiveness of Sammy and Miss Caitlin right here? And see, it's smart. You're tagging in and out. That way you're both getting runs at your opponent. Yeah, you both. And you're cutting off the ring. Oh, oh man, it's really breaking it in right there. 
Wrestle Bay is not going to be anybody's bay. She keeps getting busted up like that. This way she might be in an ambulance bay. Oh, she threw another one. Controlling her now. Man, just pulling her out right there to cover. But once again, Jim Marie getting very likely to dance on his pins. Yes, you got to get body on body. If you can get a chance to cover and pin the wrestle bay, and you can make it count. She's experienced she's been in a lot of places. Oh, big avalanche right there. Oh, right there. Oh, big time slam right there. Shades of a boss man slam. Oh, what a sit down on top. Or a black hole slam if you like a fist. Cover, count. Oh, two. I'm out. She was. Good teamwork by Caitlin Marie and Sammy Chaos. You can think they have teamed a few times. Try to team Marie. It's just good cohesiveness. Ooh, double chop. Double good. chop. <laughs> Called her a loser. Oh, look at the strength of Caitlin Marie. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hello. Oh, <laughs> eating a little defeat right there from Vanity. <laughs> now. Oh, big pump kick. She ate defeat, all right. Now can she get to Olivia Devon for that tag? She's trying, Wrestle Bay. Hey, here we go. Oh, here's what I want to see. Uh-oh. This is it. This is what I wanted to see. This is what we see, these two big women. Oh, oh yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh, let's go. Big time shots. And I ain't gonna lie. Mike, this might be my time to use my mulligan, which is gonna be, this is nothing but big, meaty women slapping me. There we go. They I said are it. throwing and going, if you will. Making this place with these strikes. Oh. oh! Double head heat. They are rocking and rolling. Referee looking like a DJ in there. Whoa! I'm not even gonna lie, at that point I got kind of confused of who's the legal person. I, I thought it was double cover, double trouble. Gals are being mean. Oh! I swear, there's one thing you should learn ever from Kayla Marie. <laughs> DTA. Oh! Oh! oh. Three. Sammy bringing the chaos. Oh! Huge kick from Olivia Devine onto Sammy Chaos. A front boot from Miss Olivia. And now, can Vanity and Olivia Devine capitalize? She's getting her, hey, getting her girl up. Like, oh, girl, let's get this. Both getting. Referee needs oh. to get control. You can see he's, he, come on, ladies. He's like, hey, sister, brother, I'll ring it. Uh-oh, reverse. Oh, Raymond Vanity and Olivia Devine writing to each other. There's, again, oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay, double uh, belly plugged up tandem back suplexes. Double, uh -oh. double plugged up back suplexes, dog. That's what that was. Did we, we get come. double Vader's? Oh, oh, double Vader splashes, Vader bombs. Nice. Oh, my. Devastating. Kayla Marie and Sammy Chaos able to pick up the win here tonight in Ladies Night Out. I think Triple just, shot, too. I think we just found a team. TitleMatchNetwork.com Shut that shit up!
TitleMatchNetwork.com. Here we go. Once again, a very, very big fight feel here in our main event tonight. Cody Rhodes, Mario Bacara, Leo Rush. Here we go. And that's what it's all about. A little champ for Brandy, or Rhodes, why not? Strong female presence tonight at WrestlePro. Yes, yes, I definitely agree. It's a beautiful championship title over there. The bell is sounded. Here we go. Mario Bokra in tremendous shape. He cut some weight. He's leaned out. Was that a cartwheel? I believe it was. Into a handshake. Sign of respect. The crowd paying respect to Cody's father, the late great Dusty Rhodes. is deafening right now with thank you Dusty. There's a Dusty Bear in the ring at this point. Well we all know the story behind the Dusty Bear. Yes we do. Bokura looking for a handshake from Leo Rush. And once again, Leo Rush denying him. What is the personal vendetta going on here between Rush and Bakara? I have no idea. Sometimes people just don't like each other the same way it is with you and I. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> here we go. He's tried this once before in Union, New Jersey. And look at this. Wow. Total disrespect out of Leo. You, are, you don't want to piss off this Croatian. No. He's got a don't. short, short fuse. And I'm, that's what I'm talking that's about. That's what happens. Mario Bokra. Wow. Oh my God. Cody going for the beautiful disaster kick early. Oh. Bukar with the go behind. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's going for a Croatian suplex. He's patented. Oh, I love that. That one legged oh, throw kick. Such a thing of beauty. Cody out. Rush. Wild swing oh. by Bokara. Leo Rush back in the ring. Cody following. The quickness. Whoa! Jesus. Holy Jesus. That is why Leo Rush is in this match. My goodness. You can't even keep up with some of this stuff that he pulls off. Oh. Sometimes all you need is a straight kick to the gut to bring it back down to earth. Now Bokura and Cody both working on Leo Rush. Little teammate, uh, team action here. I guess you want to take out the one quicker of the three. Oh my God! Ring glory. Back elbow, kip up. The ring is cleared. Rush diving. Oh my oh, God! Holy. He up, caught it. Adams, heads up! Heads up! Leo, Leo Rush. Leo Rush is on fire right now. Unbelievable! <laughs> oh. 
Holy cow. Wow. Cody's got the look on his face like he doesn't know what just hit him. Beautiful cross body, but into Cody. Oh, figure four, four here. Figure four. Figure four early on. You take out the legs of Leo Rush. That's a lot of his arsenal. Oh, wait a minute. The Crow Outlock, is he going for it? He's got, he had him. Cody rolls through. Left Bokara to heads up. His predicament. Cody Rhodes on the outside. Body's Bokara flying low. everywhere. Leo Rush, backflip, lands on his feet. Oh, heads up. Heads up, man. Beautiful. He popped up. Whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, God. That was a high, high German. There goes Mokra. Oh, nope. Holds on. Oh, no. he caught him. Right in the face. Bokara now in a bad way. Go Rush here on the outside. And firm control. We have Rush reeling on the outside. Bokara on the apron. Cody Rhodes. Going for Volcara answers that one. Ducks. German. German. Unbelievable. Volcara oh, on fire again. Volcara belongs. Yes. He belongs, Dave Destruction. 1,000% correct. He belongs in this match, and he's proving it here tonight. Live at the Starland Ballroom. Two count. The forum across the face of Cody Rhodes as he makes that cover. Volcara's been in the game just as long, if not longer, than Cody. Oh, wait a minute. Right Leo hand. Rush. Leo Rush is fighting. Staying in this fight. I mean, that's all he really has to do is stay in this fight. All it takes is three seconds, and you are the victor. Cody Rhodes trying to break things up. and Holy oh, sugar. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> Caught a right hand for his trouble. Open fist. Now Cody seems to be pounding on. Everyone's just beating the crap out of each other on the outside. Oh! Leo Rush into the guardrail. Cody just extremely focused. Oh, oh my God! Double suplex. Ow! Oh, that was a sickening, uncomfortable thud. That was a th oh my God! That he went through sound. the floor of the Starland Ballroom. That was the sound of Leo Rush's back hitting the hard floor at the Star Starland Ballroom. That look in Cody's eye. Because they almost disbelieve that these guys are bringing it as much as they are tonight. Straight forearm shot. Bokara trying to create distance between him and Cody. Cody Rhodes Coming just staying on again. top of Bokara. Heads up. Oh, oh my oh. God, save the car into the first row. Wow. What is it with everybody wanting to fight all over the place today? They're taking it. I'm gonna try and see what's going on. Might just have to call it as we hear it. Yeah, we can't see anything from our vantage point right now. We probably can't do whatever's happening justice. But I'm sure whatever just happened was painful. The only way to win this match is to get him back into the ring and pin or submit your opponent. This is causing damage. Oh, oh, Leo Rush! Leo Rush! Flying off the stage! Where did he come from? The sky, apparently. Unbelievable. These three are putting it all on the line tonight at the Starland Ballroom for the WCPW That's Internet back title. In, back into the area now. Who's the first man back? Cody Rhodes. And followed by Leo Rush, who just shocked us all by jumping out of the, uh, the bleacher area. Kevin Keenan just shocked us all by being able to <laughs> climb over the guardrail. Very true. Back into the ring now. Leo Rush looking to go up. Try to maybe finish this off and become 
the brand new WCPW. Cody Rhodes playing possum. Wait a minute. Playing possum. Top rope. Uh, Bokar is back in the, uh, the the picture here. What is this? What is? Oh, oh wow. wow! Look at the strength. Stalling. Oh my! No! Oh my God! A stalling suplex, which we thought was going to be the end of that. Brandy looked all sorts of confused. I'm confused. But now we're back in action here. Cody Rhodes back in the ring, and now we're exchanging blows. Oh, no, nice step jab. Straight, right what? cross. Another jab. What did we just see? I have no idea what, what, and why Joey Ryan is out here. Was out here. That was the strangest thing I think I've ever seen in my life. Seriously, I've seen a lot of stuff. That, that took the cake. Oh, look at this. Leo Rush offering up the, uh, the old too sweet. And finally, a truce has been developed here by Leo and Mario Bacara. They're working together. Got to take out the common opponent. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh my God. No, no. Kick. Disaster kick. Rushes out. Bokura back to his feet. Crossroads. Oh. Kermala. Oh, my God. Right in the middle of the ring. He's got Can it. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can Bokara do it? Is this it? Cody. Had him in the middle of the ring. Now in the middle of the, of the ring. But there Just you go. a little more Turk on that. You have that Leo Rush factor. Oh, my he God. stole that title away from Bakara. He just took it from him. He just kicked Bakara's head straight off his shoulder. He took that title away. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I was going Leo for the crossroads. Counters the crossroads. Grazing slap to the face. Tilt a whirl. What is this? Oh, oh it's my DDT. God! Rush, Rush going up. up! Oh my God! What are we gonna see? What's next? Oh! Oh! One, two! Oh, oh my Close. goodness! Close. Up and over, all the way over. Cody Rhodes, the lone man in the ring right now. Bokara finding his way back in. Oh boy, oh boy. Cody Rhodes thought Bokara was at it. Oh! Powder, why? Cody's blinded and Brandy's pissed off. Brandy's in the ring. Cody's blind. Wait a minute. Crossroads. Brandy. Oh no. He thought she was Bokura. Are you kidding? Oh, that's going to be an uncomfortable ride home. Oh my God. He didn't know he was blinded by that that salt, that powder, that Bakara threw in the eyes. Oh my God! What did we just see here? We just saw Brandy. Here comes Leo. Wait, 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 wait! Leo Ross creeping back into the ring. He's gonna steal it. Roll. No, no, he's not. Oh! The, the quickness. Wait a minute, Bokara! Lands on his feet. Oh my God! What the hell? Three men are taking each other. Oh. Cross has been thrown into the win here. Bacardi with the title in his hand. You gotta do it by any way possible, I guess. Take all measures. Bacardi is waiting. Bacardi is cocked back. He's lost it. Oh, oh my God! God. No! Crossroads! One! Two! Oh my God! You rarely see Bokura get pinned. TitleMatchNetwork.com
She has been dubbed the First Lady of Hardcore. She's a former CZW Ironman champion. And uh, recently inducted into the Indie Wrestling Hall of Fame. What a treat to have her in the house. The Queen of Hardcore versus the Queen of the DFW Cartel. Royalty all abound at DFW All Pro Women's Wrestling. Good morning, rise and shine. Lufisto has been wrestling for as long as Alejandra the Lion has been alive. That is saying something. Goes back to what I mentioned earlier with this veteran versus relative newcomer. Not that any of these women are in any way, shape, or form new, but in terms of a 25 year vet, mm. anyone's new. Yeah, absolutely. Lufisto has been everywhere. She's done everything. There's not much you can throw at her that she has not uh, experienced already. And Nastico has a bad habit of putting his nose where it does not belong. If he does it tonight... I agree with that statement. <laughs> if he does it tonight, I fear for what Lufisto might do to him. Yeah, that is... The king and queen of the death match, that's not someone that I want to mess with. Absolutely just, not. Just either one of them, but <laughs> she's both. She's, it's the same person, which is terrifying. Alejandro working that arm. Ooh, nice takedown by Lufisto. La Leona able to get to the ropes. Of course, with the DFW cartel, it's always a numbers game. Having a 20-year vet like Lou Gotti in her corner, Alejandra thinking maybe the experience of her trainer and uh, the, her co-member of the DFW cartel is something that can uh, help her out. That is right. And although Lufisto is a 25-year vet, that three-on-one, that numbers game is going to catch up to you eventually. That's the way of the cartel. But so far... Lufisto kind of having her way with the lion. Big slam. Crowd, Crowd wants one. For one more. Yeah, that's right. Ultra, here we go. Oh, big slam. Two count. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this submission attempt here. He's trying to turn La Leona into a pretzel. Referee Lando Del Toro in great position. Oh, no. Driving that knee to the midsection of the lion. Oh, and now twisting at the head. Oh, no. Oh. Lufisto <laughs> pulling something out of the lion's nose. Not sure what's going on there, but. Lufisto yeah. full. Uh-oh. Oh. There's that numbers game. Lou Gotti. Oh. And Alejandra taking advantage of the distraction. The Don Father posing for pictures. Oh, and look at the lion taking full advantage. Alejandra's not above taking a shortcut, Emily. That's the cartel way, and now Luke Gotti. Speaking of this numbers game. Taking full advantage of every one of those five counts that ref has given her. I don't think anybody expected to see 
Lufisto in this position. As La Leona dumps her to the outside. And now look at Lou. The Donfather. Oh, come on. Lufisto back in the ring now. Alejandra goes for the cover. Only a one count. Yeah, Alejandra, I think you might need to take care of her yourself instead of having your your people do it for you. That's right. The Indie Wrestling Hall of Famer. Oh, just almost put away Alejandra the Lion if it wasn't for the, the rope break. Nastico's writing oh, checks Luf with his mouth that his ass can't cash. I promise you that much. That look from Lufisto, I would not, I'm glad I'm not on the other end of that. Oh, I, I think Alejandra's scratching at the at the mouth of Lufisto. Those, those nails, those claws, as it were. Lufisto giving the ref the finger. That's a good way to say that I don't quit. Oh. Handful of hair by the lion. Brings Lufisto down, only gets a one count again. Oh, no. Alejandra trying to scratch through. Both women exchanging forearms. <laughs> this Lufisto is hardcore. Oh. Both women hit the ropes. Double clothesline. Oh. Both women are down. Both women still down. The ref's at a four count. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nasty headbutt by Lufisto. Huge clothesline. Double underhook, beautiful butterfly suplex. Oh. Oh. Lufisto introducing Alejandra to every single turnbuckle. That is true, taking Alejandra on a little trip here. Oh. Oh. That devastating chop from Lufisto. And she's taking requests as the crowd is saying, oh, we want one more. Oh. Oh. Modified Cedar Suplex hooks the leg. Oh, 
feet still. She's got a camel clutch. Oh. oh. Tearing at the face of La Leona once again. Big forearm shots. Oh. 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 Turnabout is fair play as Lufisto scratches the back of the lion. Hits the rope. Damn it, Lou. Pumpkin. Oh no. Capitalizing on that distraction once again. Hooks the leg. Lufisto able to kick out. Nastico had the ref distracted. La Leona now might be setting Lufisto up for that Meteora that she likes to put people away with. Oh! What a reversal from Lufisto. Oh my goodness, big hip strike right to the face. Now Lufisto, big cannonball. Hooks the leg, two. La Leona able to kick out at two. Lufisto now, oh, come on. And this numbers game again is. This distraction from Nastico. Oh, big super kick. Oh, come on, and now Lou assaulting Lufisto in the corner while Alejandra. Oh, there's that meteor. Nothing wrong with the knee. Dirty tactics of the DFW cartel. Lufisto still able to kick out, much to the dismay and the frustration of the DFW cartel. Oh, look at the strikes. Spinning back fist by Lufisto. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. incredible. Slam there, Close hooks the, the leg. Cover. And Lou Gotti once again. Crowd calling for them to be removed. Oh, big super kick by La Leona. Lufisto on Dream Street. She instinctually able to still be on her feet, but now, oh, oh no. And Lou Gotti takes out Nasty Co. Oh, incredible slam there. Torture rack bomb, hooks the leg, three. The first lady of hardcore, victorious. TitleMatchNetwork.com.
has elapsed in this contest. Five minutes has elapsed in this contest. Yes, sir.
TitleMatchNetwork.com.